play? Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Hello, everyone, once again. I have Fable here with me, and, uh, yeah. Chat. I have a question for you two. When the, when the VTuber graduates, where do they go? I would like oh your God. honest opinions, and please be respectful. Oh, please, boy. Please, for the love of God, be respectful. Yeah. Also, Fable was just it's ranting about question. how we're not watching Space Station 13 video again because he wants to... Because he likes it. it. It makes me happy, okay? okay? Okay, Fable. Well, watch this one. Wizardry 8 review. Hey, hey, people. Seth right. here. Today, I'll be breaking away from tradition. I'll be covering some old-ass game that's probably very obscure. I do actually want to review some crazy game, like indie games, kind of like what Seth does, but not nearly as, well, crazy. I guess more what Mandalore does. It, it's like I'm try, I would try to reach a balance for them. I would just need a really good editor. And a lot of money. Long, frustrating, dehumanizing, but also mm. very fun. Whoa. Ask yourself, have you ever wanted to experience the role-playing equivalent of poisoning yourself? <gasps> Repeatedly. I am afflicted. For many weeks. Well, Fable? No. Don't worry, we'll just give you this plan of- Oh I yeah, I forgot- Dibs on his stuff. Until- Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I replaced your normal forks with iron forks, Fable. Oh, you monster. For those who don't know, Fable is a fake. Anyway, moving forward. Gradually build up a tolerance for self-inflicted pain and suffering. Me. You see, much like eating a bag of raw potatoes, do it in one go, and you might die. But do Why it would you ever eat and so? you might live. Keep at it, and you might just start enjoying it. I present to you Wizardry 8, released in 2001 by the Canadian government. What? I... I know the like certain governments, like the Canadian government, have this thing where they feel this need to uh, basically help with the culture. I don't know exactly what it's called, but the Canadian government and a few other governments basically pay for entertainment for their people. Usually it doesn't end well. Wizardry 8 is one hmm. of the finest torture devices to be released on the personal computer. Wizardry well, 8 takes place in the Dragon Ball Z extended universe. You and what? your party are space traveling aliens hired by the Wookiees to retrieve all three remaining Dragon Balls. The Astral Domine, the Chaos Malari, and the Destiny Dominus. And what? use them to ascend as literal gods and reshape the universe. Ascension takes place on a planet called Dominus. Unfortunately, okay. the process of ascension has been complicated by the involvement of a dark savant. Who, to Put it simply, is Space Hitler setting up oh. an interplanetary anti-Semitic <laughs> dominus. Unfortunately, your ship bears the mark of David and is quickly shot out of the sky, forcing oh you God. to make a crash landing. All things considered, that's not too bad. Except, Space Hitler has also rigged the planet with a nuclear payload oh. that is large enough to glass the entire surface. In case anyone who isn't Space Hitler tries to ascend, I hope you're following all this because this is just the intro. And now I'm going to quickly summarize the plot to help you understand <clears throat> how amazing this game is. Space Hitler is not very popular. As okay. a result, he <clears throat> loses the only Dragon Ball he has to the Italian Mafia because he neglected to pay their godfather, Don Barlow. Uh. By the way, the Italian Mafia in this game is composed of rats and speak in an Italian-American <laughs> accent. Me? I'm always in top form, not just Ratkin. Razooka, pal! What the hell? <laughs> Well, it, this is stupid. At least, this is incredibly stupid. At least Fable's having fun. <laughs> oh, I love this kind of stuff. It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, it makes sense when you really squint and then you realize it doesn't make sense. Anyway. Yeah, the Order of Paw. You might consider us a family of sorts. Don Barlow switches out the astral dominate with a shiny salt lick. The melanated master finds out and has an autistic tantrum in front of you. You'll come to find this is a common theme. You take the imitation okay. and buy the real thing. It costs most of your life savings. Oh. So instead of paying, you might try and whack him instead. Luckily, oh. the best tricks are so nice that they work twice. First, you gotta get chummy with the umpani or the trang. This is the choice between authoritarian rhinos or 
literal bug men that reproduce faster than India. I what the hell? roll Umpani because we share a common bond in our attraction to anthropomorphic rhino girls siding with... God damn it, <laughs> Seth. <laughs> Sometimes I think Seth might actually be a furry, and then I question things. What do you think, Fable? You're he actually... Might. He, he might be, actually. Listen, I get the whole fact that some people are like, I'm not a furry, but no, you definitely have furry traits in you if you say that. You can't convince me otherwise. Yes, he's been like this for a while. Yeah, no, he's definitely a furry. I, um, if he doesn't identify as one, that's all power to him. But to, I swear to God, he definitely is one. Oh one of those lets you visit the local. <laughs> because no embassy. way in hell, no way in hell does someone just have a strange attraction to anthropomorphic freaking rhino ladies. It's... That's not normal behavior. To each their own, I guess. That's the only way okay. I can put this. Have a look at it's their hilarious. chaos malari, and by okay. rhino girls siding with one of those lets you okay. visit the local Wookiee embassy to have a look at their chaos malari, and by having a look at their chaos malari. He seems like an honest, trusting guy, and those are my favorite kinds of people. Oh, I mean, boy. snatching it in front of them, apologizing <laughs> sincerely, and then replacing it with a knockoff glass bulb. Then you gotta find Whoa. the Destiny Dominus, which is really the search for enlightenment. As the oh boy, I know where this is going. Source of all I have a feeling at least. You find it naturally by consuming a lot of psilobison, DMT, and ayahuasca. So what? you can project yourself to a higher plane of consciousness and talk with Joe Rogan. With all three Dragon Balls in your... <laughs> why? I don't know. Why is it... Why is it always enlightenment that involves somehow drugs? Um... Well, if we look at it from more of a historical view, a lot of tribals that that did a lot of spiritual stuff did use certain mushrooms as well to try to mm. get enlightenment. I know of their properties. I know, and the Oracle of guess... Delphine got high off the fumes coming off of the steam in her place. Yeah, but at this point, it's just a giant meme. Sadly. Mm. It used to hold such spiritual meaning, now it's just a giant joke. Pretty much. For dragon sack, there's still the small matter of nuclear oblivion. So, okay. you gotta go up north and offer your sweet body to a goat demoness. Oh. This game was very progressive for its time, because Alcidexus is fiercely heterosexual, and rejects the very concept I'm sorry, of what? She also I guess. What? What? What was that word? I don't know what what he just said is impressive for its time because Alcidexus is fiercely heterosexual. Oh, he heterosexual, heterosexual is what he said, <laughs> and rejects the like very concept of scissoring. Uh, she also rejects the lore. I just don't understand getting attracted to characters like this that are just a few polygons. I don't, I don't get it either. Moving on. The concept of monetizable content, because her milk jugs are anything but modest. Anyway, oh my to God. the of a bomb, you have to get inside it. How? By breaking and entering into people's bedrooms, because, logically speaking, one of them is bound to have a direct access interdimensional portal into the bomb. What? Which can be disabled by pressing random keys and getting lucky. With a bomb no longer armed, you smack the savant, leaving him disarmed. The savant dies, okay. but in his death, reveals to you the ultimate truth that... He's been using a voice changer on Discord this whole time, and he's not actually that dark. <laughs> the end. Oh my God. <laughs> this is made before Discord. What the hell are you talking about, son? At dark. Yeah. The end. Any questions? No. Oh. Then in that case, uh, welcome to Wizardry. I have so many questions. I love this game. Now let's talk about playing it. To play, you need to make a party. From characters, okay. you make yourself. If I said there's a lot of options, that would be an understatement. You can be anything you wait, want Wait, wait, I want to go back there for a Now let's talk options. That would be... 
an understatement. Okay, so I thought uh, races and uh, classes were the same thing. Like he could, like Lizardman was a class for some reason. You can be anything you want to oh, be: dear. humans, non-humans, subhumans, furries, uh -huh. scalies, more furries, and even short kings. There's so Hobbits. many short kings in this. <laughs> <laughs> Game, you can pick by your preferred size. Anything oh. from five foot eleven kings to a five foot ten pocket prince, who are so light at this oh, point they get carried away by the wind. Race is there a link between race and I? There's oh my god! Races, and that's only including ones you can pick. There's about sixteen in total. Do oh. anything you want to do, and I mean it. I don't care how many classes your game has, because Wizardry Eight has fifteen, including but not limited to fighters, which fight Valkyries, which fight using female privilege to avoid death ninjas oh which fight with the empty <laughs> space representing their lack of contribution to the team until two weeks into the average game however god damn they just can't do much however if you rolled a fairy ninja congratulations because your pocket prince can now solo the entire game alchemist makes potions just and too breaks fast the economy by making infinite potions you can sell for infinite money letting you buy everything in the entire game 10 out oh. of 10 working as intended gadgeteer who uses an unconventional form of weaponry a gun but <laughs> that's the basically an artificer before an artificer was around Oh Which is kind of funny, I will not lie. The boring part. The interesting part is overloading a microwave in a monastery, ripping out the microwave chip, and using it to give your enemies brain tumors. Gadgets oh. are essentially random pieces of trash duct taped together to inexplicably cause widespread devastation. That honestly sounds right for most things in the artificers that we're used to, right, Fable? Yeah. Making random shit together to make yeah. powerful and if you think weapons. That sounds Then let me tell you about the bard. In most games, a bard plays music, keeps up morale, and probably cooks and cleans for the party as well. In Wizardry 8, the droning melody of a bard's bagpipe brings pandemonium. The walking oh. of his harp causes cerebral hemorrhaging, oh. and the blowing of his horn results in nuclear fallout. Building the optimal six-man party is difficult. Explaining. Pretty much, he's a psycher bard is difficult and we don't have time here's my build follow it copy it enjoy it it's very powerful very oh. well-rounded and gives is that a crystal unicorn first experience yep so the game hell? by the way this game's got a lot of voice dialogue i've got a surprise for you stand still so you can get it between the eyes and most of it comes from your own party i almost feel normal there's oh 18 God. different personalities for each gender there will be many implements of destruction at oh. my disposal yeah which is 36 fully voiced personalities in total yeah slice him dice him no sense being nice to him that's my motto. And that's absolutely nuts. Now, onto yeah. the fun stuff. I present to you all my current party. That's right. I manually imported all this to work inside the game. That is By crazy. The way, they're fully animated. The portraits, not even that bad. But manually animating the eyes and mouth, yeah, that took a while. As our I can party, tell. We got internet historian. Physically, he's a giant. <laughs> Mentally, he's ah, a trap. I wonder what would happen if I just pulled this thing here. He that sounds like you. Oh my god. Either you or Platy. It's me. <laughs> it's Platy. It's maybe Platy, considering he would be the one to pull that. He's very stable. Mr. Mandalore as our second fighter, whose voice I absolutely adore. How exciting. I think I'm improving. Oh no. More people. That's just me. <laughs> that is you. <laughs> oh no. More people. <laughs> oh my god, Red. What? I'm an introvert. What do you expect from me? I like having the certain types, or er, having certain people around me, but having too many deals. Oh, uh, they just good. keep coming and coming. I'm getting stressed. It's yeah, that really is me. Oh my lord. It's just so expressive as our morally bankrupt backstabbing conniving and scheming G we got my man uber danger as a rogue who sounds exactly as he does in real life i'd rather be recognized with cash but 
A rise in status. Okay, that is just platy. Oh yeah. So the this other one was you. Yeah, nothing special. <laughs> um, yeah, probably worthless. I'll just uh, oh, hang on to it for us. Uh, yeah, the other guy fight. is you. I'll guard the This rear. is platy. Good. I put Frederick Newton as our resident psionic. There's nothing wrong with him. He's actually the most well-adjusted of the entire group. Gotcha. That's I'm glad thing. to be alive again, though the stillness of death was not totally objectionable. Also, uh, I put him as female. Sorry, Fred baby, but the best jewelry in this game is for girls, and we need to min-max myself <laughs> as the party's dark, brooding <laughs> alchemist. Ordinary men fear the power of darkness. I revel in it. Oh my god. Over the course of the story has been one-shot many times. The dead guy! What was his name? <laughs> Thanks so very <laughs> oh much. I... I'm honestly not surprised at this point that he is the guy... That he is the guy that somehow died multiple it's times. It's hilarious. It's no. something hilarious. Why did you tear me from death's sweet embrace? And finally, <sighs> Ken Ashcorp as our local queen. I have no who that careful. is. I can't believe we're wasting time talking to a chipmunk! He's also completely <laughs> Okay, back up. I like that. Oh, yeah. I got a chuckle from me. Hinged. I did originally consider adding Pyro Cynical to the team, but What's unfortunately, that? YouTube yes? does not let me feature miners in this video. There's a lot to do what in Wizardry. Hell? Explore amazing places, visit the swamp, <laughs> catch malaria, climb a tree. Oh, I got it. What? Oh, uh, Pyro is part of some comedy. Yeah, that Oh. It wasn't anything. It wasn't anything like really messed up, but it was still very questionable. Ah, okay, that's a bit better. Yeah, it, yeah like they didn't do anything bad to anyone because if they did, they wouldn't be on the internet right now. No, but yeah. it was more like a very questionable situation, if anything. Get body blocked by hamsters. Hamsters go to the only functional city in the game with a grand total population of about 12 people. Get <laughs> harassed by Space Hitler and the androids of the Fourth Reich. Head to the mm. bar. Get blackmailed. Go to the bank because, well, of course, it's still open. Go to the what airport the hell? because why not? Because this is the one game where you can talk to a starship and tell it to go fuck itself. The what? dialogue system in this game is nothing short of amazing. You have to manually write down, memorize, and figure out the keywords for conversational topics you're interested in. The game will then try to identify your intent and produce you a fully voiced answer. Amusing yourself, are you? That is... Wow, that sounds actually really hard to do, honestly. And it sounds kind of difficult to mess around with because you have to say the right, right. word to get out of them. What are you saying, Pable? I just I was disagreeing with you. Okay. There's not many NPCs in this game, but I remember every single one of them. That Whoever is interesting. Is the and their militaristic tendencies. Oh come on, come on now, stupid thing! Get in there. Perfect. Oh no! Oh no! That sounded bad for the most part, as far as I can tell. Probably not a good thing that happened there. The slick talking Don Barlone of a Razuka. Well, we keep our end of the deal, you know. But he slips town before he pays our fee. So, we're here to collect. But <laughs> he ain't gonna pay. That ain't a problem. We get a cash, and you oh. get your prize. And the dark savant gets shafted. Or even your. That's actually some pretty good voice acting, honestly. Especially for this time of game, especially for this time of gaming where characters look like this, we usually didn't get good voice, get good voice acting. We got uh, uh, whatever it was that we got from Resident Evil One. Her own biological daughter, conceived as right. a result of sleeping around with demons, because oh. her voice acting is absolutely fantastic. Some can even be convinced to join your party. Unfortunately, most of them are highly superstitious of their own planet, and won't what? go where you want them to. You know what, boys? This place reminds me of a song I wrote called, I Ain't Going There No Way, No How. 
The workaround to this is running them to exhaustion with a heavy backpack, knocking them unconscious, <laughs> and forcibly dragging them past the load screen. Once they and that's how I got Fable into this reaction, so it seems overall p morally right. I'm gonna go eat imaginary ramen. Yeah. Imaginary ramen? You can't eat imaginary ramen, it's not real. It is real, it fills me up. Oh my god. They wake up, that is the power of, of, that's the true power of imagination. Oh my god about this breach of consent, which is why people generally avoid them. Except RFS81, who is the best boy, because unlike everyone else, he's not programmed to be a bitch. Quests are also oh. equally brilliant until you, get stuck, until you get frustrated and desperate enough to read the damn walkthrough instead. There's no shame in that, because I do it. And I finished the game twice. Some of my favorite quests include protecting a verified Twitter user from hateful comments online, by <laughs> crushing someone into meat paste after luring them in using the sweet aroma of a female girl, getting motion oh sickness God. from the mine tunnels, and of course retrieving the black box flight recorder of a crashed ship so you can triangulate the position of Space Hitler's ship and use a heavy surface to air battery to shoot him out of the sky. Three, this is... Two, one, well then. Firing. That's a thing. <laughs> this is pretty weird. Yeah. It's a weird yeah, mix of magic and real fast. Sci fi, anyway, but I'm never that... against sci fi and magic being mixed together. They can create some interesting stuff. Like using medieval like weaponry Magitech? to kill fantasy creatures. What? Magitech. Like magic yeah. and technology. Yeah, I'm fine with that kind of stuff usually. Usually it's only Japan that dabbles in that, but I do like it when other people do. Is part of this game from beginning to end, from the moment you wake up on that beach to the moment you pass out each day from exhaustion, is combat. This game has a lot of fighting. A lot of fighting. The hardest thing in this game is to simply walk unmolested through a short forest trail. Dear which God. Is physically impossible because every step of the way you'll be harassed, molested, and physically assaulted by the entire regional populace. What? Should 30 minutes to get there? Of the great outdoors you'll reach arnica Jesus. the first city in the game and don't worry that's where i also let my guard down sleeping with a door open peeking out from a dusty window only to catch a faint glimpse of moving pixels in your peripheral vision <laughs> i'm very sorry but you are now in combat with mm -hmm. the entire city because the even civilization is an unstoppable barrage of random encounters why why would you do this it sounds incredibly tedious and annoying. To understand my frustration, here's an example. Previously, I have walked five meters on a tropical island. Okay. By crustaceans. Walked five meters back because I realized I was going the wrong way. Got jumped by more crustaceans only to walk forward again and get jumped by the same group of crustaceans which have now respawned. This oh my god. Be so bad if combat wasn't turn based, but it is and it's slow. This won't hit you immediately, but believe Believe me, it will. And once it does, the following information will make sense. Hello, future viewer. Like okay. you, I have also had a mental breakdown after watching combat animations for many hours. So, I've installed the Wizardry 8 speed mod to quicken animations. I'm running Wiz8 fast at 625 times speed, and I'm simultaneously speed hacking the game with Cheat Engine at <laughs> 3 times speed. And it's still slow, but don't- How the hell did it still be that slow? Uh, how I don't know. How slow are the animations wrong, in this game? Mean combat is easy. It's absolutely the opposite. It's sadistically hard. Oh. It doesn't care, and it's going to keep beating you until you break. She was a saint! A saint! <laughs> sure, you can put down the difficulty. You're still gonna get shredded by the 10 plus juggernauts that just came out of camouflage. The only way to avoid dismemberment is to play intelligently. Uh -oh. This game okay. is a constant battle of overwhelming odds versus your own capacity to gain the Some system. sort of zombie the monster. The juggernauts is suicide. They swing potentially three times a turn and they're not stupid. They're gonna surround you, flank you, and hack your spellcasters to pieces. Positioning is important. Instead of charging, we have herd them into a choke point. Their okay. numbers become worthless, and we reduce the fight into a glorified meat grinder. And nice. that's not hyperbole. Enemies get visibly wounded the Ooh. more you hurt them. It provokes a very Pavlovian response. As I wish more JRPs kind of did this. You, that That'd way, be nice. 
That way, even if you don't show a health bar, and we can at least tell if we're doing well. Whatever has inconvenienced me get reduced to a bloody pulp. Over times, I'm left thinking, Jesus fucking Christ, please stop. Just put him out of his misery as I'm beating a bandit so hard that we've ripped the very skin Ooh. off his face and his skull is visibly poking through the flesh. Tactics oh. are important. Your fighters do most of the damage. Your mages control the battlefield. Why deal with a crowd when you can make the crowd insane and kill each other in a psychotic rage? And if that doesn't work, paralyze them, curse them, give them topical dermatitis, make them throw oh. up, and induce nausea. You know the best way to stop an animal attack? Diarrhea. Because what? it's very hard to focus on anything when your ass is exploding. However, any status that affects enemies can affect you as well. <laughs> and you'll find oh. it's very hard for your party to focus when they're in the process of getting bored and digested by wild animals. Oh. Something's different, but I can't put my finger on it. Oh, that one guy's gone. <laughs> Luckily, combat is extremely rewarding. You <laughs> what the hell is that AI doing? It does sound like something you would say, though. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, it says one of you got of eaten by a monster. I won't be able to figure it out. It said. No, he's being sarcastic, and you know it. Lies. Fights appropriate to your level to level up. With that comes increased stats, skills, and spells to expand your options. Okay. Also, the game gets harder. Early game might be spent on the verge oh, of death, but dead. given time, I'll you'll hell find the new mech. I'm not dead level up. With that comes increased stats, skills, and spells to expand your options. Oh. Also, the game gets harder. Early game might be spent on the verge of death, but given oh. time, you'll find that this is a constant state of tension, except you're no longer afraid of it. Instead, oh. you learn to enjoy it, and even revel in the act, as you realize you're quite good at it. I do, however, have some critique. <laughs> One, traps. Traps are randomized, and oh. one of them stole 90% of my current assets. Philosopher's Bane turns your gold into lead and holy hell turned your gold into lead god damn i forgot the as opposed to the, the philosopher's stone oh. that was supposed to turn lead into into gold i mean it was supposed to turn anything into gold it was either that or eternal life but you know and yeah you apparently forgot the quick save after that happened which is oof, oof. yeah oof is right on the hand, my critique is also praised because traps are a perfect example of how goddamn good the sound design is in this game. First, you gotta tumble around to try and guess the mechanism. Next, you need to try and disarm them one at a time. Listen to this. The sound is so goddamn crispy that you can physically feel the tension <laughs> as your rogue fiddles with a machinery which can snap at any given moment. Good job. Oh. I love it. Just uh, remember to save. Two, lockpicking. <laughs> lockpicking is not based. It is cringe. It is an endless hell of clicking tumblers to make them rise, only to watch the rest fall as you persist in your futile struggle. Oh, which is why I strongly recommend you use earth magic to magically hold the tumblers, because otherwise you're going to have a bad time. Three, pickpocketing. Don't even bother, okay. because well. it's fucking broken. No one's really sure how it works, but you can't save scum, and the responses are hard-coded. It's actually almost creepy. I once pickpocketed an NPC five times with the same negative outcome, only oh. to reload the quick save and discover that the NPC was missing, or rather that they were deleted from my save file, as if to uh. send me a message. I know this sounds like I'm losing it, and you don't have to believe me, because <coughs> I managed to record the whole thing. Four well. other weird shit that happened. Yeah, that's probably the game devs being like, no, you shouldn't steal or something. Back, it's only stealing if you get caught. Am I wrong? <laughs> God you damn it, you're doing? acting like Platty now. <laughs> listen, listen, me and Platty get along for a reason. That doesn't mean you need to take after him. For those who don't know, we're talking about the friendly plat platypus who is a VTuber over on uh, Twitch. He's insane. Happens. I used to think you couldn't. Some of the things yeah, I feel like beautiful. if.
If he could make a video like Seth, I feel like it would somehow be more unhinged. Alt tab out of this game because alt tabbing breaks the keyboard. Turns oh. out it doesn't. You just have to hit the alt key once again. How could you know this? You can't. How did oh. I learn this? I smashed my keyboard and it worked. Then I reduced the surface area of my fist, smashed keys at random until, through order of elimination, found the secret combination. This game has several features on the level of esoteric knowledge. That is to say, nobody knows shit. With Wizardry 8 is absolutely fantastic. Yes, there's annoying bullshit to deal with, but hey, it's almost two decades old and released in less than ideal circumstances. That's why there's still a fucking hardware advert that pops up whenever you try and oh close the game. Because the pub. Oh my god. Well then. Hmm. Publisher was broke. Oh. And the developer was about to be. So they had to shill out. The developer. Canada. Canada was the publisher. Higher FPS in a turn-based RPG where FPS doesn't matter. <laughs> On the other hand, that holy is funny. shit, that advert aged well. They still exist to this very huh. day. Rebuilt computers? Now that's a future-proof business model. It actually is, to be honest, because there's so many people that do not know how to, f you know, uh, basically fix their own computer or make their own. So, yeah, that does help. I mean, that's how I bought a computer, so yeah. Yeah, building a computer is apparently really ch is, uh, the cheaper option, but it's, not many people can work on one. It's cheaper. Like, I had a friend who said, just build your own. I'm like, I, I don't know how. Oh, I don't have the equipment. Based PTSD simulator that blew its entire yeah, that is on... a lot of the equipment, a lot of the inner stuff of the computer is Jiggle very delicate. This game it, I'd be afraid to even touch it, Ron. Pretty much, Ron, and I, uh, I have uh, Butterfingers, so... And I don't know my own strength, so I'm pretty sure I would break something. Try to break you. It'll spit in your mm -hmm. mouth, call you names, <laughs> and crush your self-esteem. But if you persist, that's when real satisfaction kicks in. When you're no longer the graphics of <clears throat> it's bullshit. It's the I should say the graphics of games like this aren't bad. Honestly, they become more of a retro feel nowadays. Of control, and let me tell you, it is an all in Like there's newer games coming out with graphics like this. I give Wizardry 8 an extremely high score. Uh. I also give it 80% off on GOG because <laughs> I have that power. All this for about two dollars. If it I sounds mean, like something you'd enjoy, give it a it try. It sounds like an okay time, except for all the like BS. Will run you anywhere between 100 to 150 hours of game time. And given the vast range of builds and character classes, it is very much replayable. Preferably, what breaks what is it several fable? years in between. As always, more I content to come, so stay oh, tuned. I you a did. warm thanks to the I just said it's IGF. 10 out of 10, you can open a door. Guild, generously funding and bankrolling these videos. You're all truly wonderful. Have a good one, stay safe, and please enjoy the credits. He seems what? like a kind, generous soul. I hate him. What do you uh, want? If it walks, I can change that. I'm. That does sound like a line from you. God, it does not. <laughs> Burning to kill. You gotta admire uh, the guy. That sounds like he you. Uh, no, it doesn't. Not at all. Not even slightly. A little thing like being dead. Slow him down one bit. So now I'm a Templar rat. Okay, fine. That that all one. My childhood like dreams have come. The guy. Okay, let's go let back a little bit. I hate him. What do you want? If it walks. I can change that. I'm <laughs> burning to kill. You gotta admire the guy. He didn't let a little thing like being dead slow him down one bit. So now I'm a Templar Rapax. All my childhood dreams have come true. <laughs> I mean, I'll admit that one does kind of sound like me. See? <laughs> what? What? Oh, See you what? What? Mm -hmm. What'd you say? Hmm. I said C. C. Uh, what am I gonna do with you, Fable? I don't. Great swimming! I hate swimming! I didn't come a million miles to get all soggy! I'm I tried to. filled with glee. We won. I think we can make an all right universe if we put our minds to it. Like Chaos. Ooh. <laughs> that does sound like me. 
<laughs> See? Chaos. See you Woohoo. Chaos control. The enthusiasm is palpable. I know, right? I am just bursting with joy. Get out of here, you you psychic blank, you. Death has taken him, lucky fellow. <laughs> you know, they said I was crazy when I told them I'd take over the universe one day. <laughs> that is you. Now, oh, yeah, yeah, that's Master, true. it is my duty to report a life form disappearance. You know, that was the single most traumatic moment of my entire life. I'm not a man to hold resentments. I like to forgive. Maybe you can expedite that process. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. You know, a cash settlement. <gasps> His death comes as a surprise. He showed so many oh traits of a strong alpha male. Oh we my God. got it! Now let's get out of here before bells and buzzers go off. I'd hate for this to turn into some kind of bloodbath. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear God. Hate it. You know, when someone gets a big kill like that, his friends usually pitch in with some kind of reward. Really, they do. That is plotting. There is no lying about it. Taken care of. Ah, beautiful choice. <laughs> oh, he's sleeping with the demon. I have oh been God. transfixed by the demoness and used for her sport. It's like a beautiful dream. Dear God. Oh God. I can't believe Canada funded this game. Wait. Didn't I didn't see anything. I have a confession. You recall that Rapax Demonus that I... Uh, <laughs> well, really, uh, <laughs> suffice it to say that she has bewitched me somehow. If I leave this place, I suffer the torments of the damned. The only way to stop it... Oh! I am afflicted. The demoness possesses me no longer. Why is it that all my affairs and <laughs> Oh my god. You can't kind of con for uh... it. And you can't steal from a thief. But you can kill a killer. Especially if you're me. Good night. That was really good. I will say that those, those character sounds are extremely good. Oh yeah. Anyway, thank you all so much for coming by. If you like what we're doing here, please do consider following us over on Twitch, subscribing, liking this video so that we can, well, make more of them for you. And yeah. Yes. Go follow Fable over on Twitch. He's playing Dark Souls with a level one run and playing Fuga, a game where he has to well, I'm surprised Seth hasn't covered this game, considering it's basically furry World War II. You're driving a giant metal slug tank. And you can sacrifice children to a soul ta soul cannon. Fable refuses to do that. Yeah, yeah I, refuse, I refuse to listen to the man. <laughs> anyway. The man is a soul. <laughs> the man of the soul cannon. Anyway, thank you all so much, and I'll see you all later.